What's up, guys? Jay? More than ever kill? And I'm back here on Destiny! And today, I have something pretty exciting that I want to show you in regards to the upcoming Destiny expansion, The Rise of Iron. And not only what we can expect in terms of new enemies and encounters, but also just exactly how the Fallen might have actually breached the Cosmodrome wall once and for all. And maybe even a sneak peek at the final raid boss for the Iron Rising raid that will be contained within this DLC. And I, I, I know, I know, over the last week or so, like pretty much everyone's gone through all the pre-release media with a fine tooth comb. And, and you, you know what we all found? We ain't found shit. <laughs> But, you, you know, something in these screenshots has, has intrigued me ever since first laying eyes on him, and that is this big-ass servitor that's crashed through what looks to be a factory located somewhere in the Cosmodrome. Now, everyone has been focused on the new enemy that's shown in front of this big-ass servitor, an enemy who looks strikingly similar to Rixus, the Devil Archon, but infected by the biomechanical plague Siva, which is going to be the main antagonist of the Rise of Iron. But where exactly did this big-ass servitor come from, and why haven't we seen any big-ass servitors in the game on this scale prior to this expansion. Surely, if the Fallen had access to giant ass servitors all this time, they would have just crashed through the wall long ass time ago, right? Where did this servitor come from? I'm gonna show you where it comes from. You ready? Bam! Right there. Did you see it? <laughs> Cause chances are, if you don't have a photographical memory like me, then you might not have seen it. <laughs> Allow me to show you again. Let me shed some new light on this situation. Now, take a look at the same view from the Cosmodrome in Destiny currently. Now do you see it? <laughs> That's right! The tip-top ball of the colony ship in Cade's Tower stash is missing in the pre-release media. Even more evidence points to this when you look at the busted out panels and exposed girder around the outer bottom edge of this servitor, as well as the fact that when you go up the elevator shaft in Cade Stash, you only go into the second ball. I'm gonna go ahead and slow it down. You see, one ball, two ball, boom, we're inside the ball now, leaving this mission intact for those that wish to repeat the mission and not ruin the continuity of the new story. And if you even look upwards after the mission, you can see that there is a top ball from the inside where we fight the Echo. It's my understanding that this was most likely what the Fallen's plan has been all together, right? They've been scouring the Cosmodrome, looking for Siva, they find Siva, infect Sepix Prime's core with Siva, and then have it integrate with the colony ship to fully realize his full potential as a machine god. And Zavala even says it himself during the strike. Well, the Fallen will continue to claw at the walls of our city unless we strike them down. Beneath the ruins of the Cosmodrome, in the shadow of an old colony ship, we've located the House of Devil's Lair and the High Scimitar feeding them their strength. We must destroy this machine god and send their souls screaming back to hell. Sepix Prime cast a great shadow over our city. With its destruction, the fallen devils will grow weaker. But we must stay vigilant. The fallen are crafty, and they'll find ways to survive. They always do. Kinda seems like Zavala might know a little bit more about Sepix Prime and his true potential and why he's hanging around outside of that old colony ship. Maybe more so than he lets on to know. 
than everybody else. <laughs> and what better way to kick off a fallen storyline than to make an actual god out of the first actual boss that we encounter in-game and possibly be the final raid boss that we encounter in Destiny 1 leading up to Destiny 2. So, my name is Jay. What did I have to kill? I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys read, comment, and subscribe. If you could leave a thumbs up on a video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. But seriously, I want to know, do you think that the Rise of Iron will start out with the Fallen, fighting Siva, reviving Sepix Prime, and then we spend the entire DLC chasing after it, after it busts out through the Cosmodrome wall from the inside, and we have to chase it through the Plague Lands, pretty much in the same way that we chase Omnigul for an entire DLC, culminating in a final showdown of Iron Lords versus Machine God once and for all. <laughs> so, my name's Jay, what did I have to kill? Thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see you guys later.